how that works. All right. Uh, bringing it up to 18. Let's see how that works. Just turned it up from like 15 to 18, so I don't know if... Walking around. Can I hear the... See if the background oh, audio... workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Click a yes. door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I what? can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now, suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Keep doing it. Thanks, cool man. Wait. Yeah, I'll turn on subtitles. But hmm. I have to say I'm still not feeling the satisfaction. Oh no. True effort for a noble cause. They're under Perhaps audio. They... Okay, I'll Oh. <laughs> That's not audio. It's not audio. Click clicks will do it. Yes, almost certainly. 50 clicks. 50? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, no, 12. No, I'm, I'm still not feeling it. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what. Doesn't really cost. relate to audio. Why don't you go put Pretty sure I've seen it. Into door number four. Oh, I hate you! 417? 420 blaze it. I'll do that in a... Oh. Ooh, great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. Jesus, man. Is it this way? Nope. Okay, I'm dumb. Oh, there it is. Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Now, door 415. 415. Or so. Where am I going? Now, back to door number 437. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. This game is just to annoy you, isn't it? Let's see. How about you click on, well, I don't know, the copy machine. Fuck off. All right. Back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. Okay. Now go climb on employee 419's desk. Thank. Jump. Yes. This is great! You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. Uh... We've almost got it! Now the copy machine, do that one again! He's gonna come. He's gonna spooge. Finish it off, Stanley! Five clicks on door 430! Yes! We did uh, it! Oh, wow. That felt amazing. Oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. Yes, I'm very proud of how far we've come today. Just I'm gonna, so, only a it, few minutes ago, did the... I believed an achievement was worth five little clicks. Really, now? What were you thinking? Um... Is, uh... Um, did the audio, I mean, like, I turned on subtitles, but is the audio still pretty quiet? Because, I mean, I'll turn it up if it's still quiet. I'm going to go to 420. Plays it. I can jump out the window? What window?
what window? Is there an open window? I know there's like eight million different ways I can do this shit, right? Okay. All right, I'm gonna turn it up slightly. And then you guys let me know if, uh, I'll put it on 20, 21. How about, no, let's just, let's just do 20. And let me know if that works out better. Ha! <laughs> okay. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, yeah, let me know he how this is. the door on his left. No, I didn't. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I keep ah, narrating. Yes, truly a room worth admiring. Can't go back. It had really been worth the detour after all. Just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took see, the first open door on his left. It doesn't even matter if you guys tell me to do shit or not, because the whole point of this game is... Oh, wait. No, I'm not. The whole point of this game is to, like, so bad at following directions, it's keep doing it and keep restarting and doing it over and over and over again, right? Like, I'm gonna have to, I mean, I have to assume that, like, I'm gonna eventually have to do everything, right? Is that, like, you don't, you don't beat the game by doing a specific, uh, well, have fun with the hunt. You don't, uh... Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your is it, trust It's not like a specific ending that I need to get to, like, quote-unquote, beat the game, or do I need to do, like, shit-ton of stuff? There's someone you've been neglecting, what I'm Stanley. Someone wondering. you've forgotten. Thank you, Please, simp stop trying to make slim every decision pony ranger. Now, Very much. For me, I appreciate it. All right. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself, to put your work aside, to let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Who? This game is a troll. That's my understanding of the game. Made it. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. God! Did yeah, I did it! The phone? Now, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually. I didn't know I could do that shit. Correctly. I didn't even know that was I'm possible. so happy. I just thought check. outside the box for a second. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. What? How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? There's no real ending? What did you... Wait a second. It's just a matter of like... See... No, that's not possible. I can't believe Doing that. everything Can until I you get bored? It sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic uh -huh. safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so no. we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Help. Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. 
but if used incorrectly, can also be the most dangerous. Whatever you think example, is the canon ending in this is scenario, the real ending. A hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. Can you guys hear this? He could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. Or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius of his house. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational <laughs> logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue Doesn't talking. Real. Turn to a partner and practice saying, my goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. What? Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, this is... Excellent. Uh Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to what a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally... If you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your yep. thoughts and problems are materially insignificant. And the feeling should this is subside. true. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise right to test know. and reinforce the material covered in this video. Ah, welcome back. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. Um, not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. No. Okay. I want to not listen to you. Can't tell me what to do. Please, no more. I'm begging you. Stop, stop. Oh, that's great. I want to not go through the door somehow. Exit. Well, I guess that's something I have to do, isn't it? I suck at every game, okay? Well. What are my options? Oh. Uh. Clickety click click click. Well, now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine the main character dying successfully halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. I'm not gonna do it. To get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. There weren't, uh, yeah, yeah. I couldn't do it anyway. It would have trapped me there. Can't jump. No key card. I wonder if I can grab a key card somewhere. Let's see. Yeah, I want to go up here. All right, doors closing behind me. Typical day at the office. Can't go back. Going like all the way back to my to my desk now. Well, almost there. You'll take the door on the left. Back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. I don't think you can jump out the window, because I can't jump, right? So, 
I don't know why somebody told me to do that earlier. Yeah. Correct ending, huh? This game's like a novelty now to remember, me. All you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means it's choosing like... responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All uh -oh. right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Well, you can go fuck yourself, boy. No! Why did you do that? <gasps> Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too Reality. Late. Oh, God. This is so weird. See, it'll be easy for me to understand what I've done and what I haven't done if I just keep doing the wrong thing this first time. Because then it'll be like, okay, now I know that if... If I do all the wrong things again, then I'm doing the same thing I already did. Oh, you can jump out the window? Well... I'll figure it out, I guess, at some point. It's not this window. Oh, it's ruined. You, I can't believe, after everything we talked about, that you... My story! You uh -huh. destroyed my work! Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worth it now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to um, shut the game down entirely? To yes. To destroy all of my work? No, I'll survive. Answer, what do I do? What do you I can't do? kill me. Do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game <gasps> down. I have to. No. I have to. What the fuck? Well, was that an ending? I'm getting pretty fucking far in this game. Up. I'm here. I'm still here. Here in this pile of rubbish. With you. You. Who thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. I am clever, My entire okay. game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you run it into the ground. What, did you think that would be funny? You just had to see? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't um, even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you? You're a child. Yeah, sorry, Flying Oblivion. I won't be playing it for, like, super long, though. That story. Just letting you know. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it. <laughs> That's so funny. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard. What the it's fuck? Exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly. And Was that supposed to happen? Story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. Was that All a right. glitch? <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No. No. Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry. It just. What the fuck? Behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly. Did I break and the game? The story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. gonna keep doing this and right. see if it happens differently every time when or not. Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he I think I broke the, the game. Left. I don't think that was supposed to happen. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry... Is ...behave exactly as is Stanley the... would. That is this real? Responsibly and always putting the story first. Why does this happen to me? Be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All it's right. working as intended. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors. Well, I mean, let me do it a couple more times then. 
No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry. Is behaving wanna... exactly as standard. Blue, sir, sub height. Choosing responsibly and well, I just want to. Okay, well, let me try it one more time. Because sure you're, you're saying that I underestimate the game, right? right? But what if, <clears throat> what if I'm not underestimating the game, and by going through the door on the right like 20 times in a row, will something happen? Like I don't know. This game's fucking no. random and Why did you do that? Quickly, unpredictable, you know? So I don't know. What if the fifth time I did it, he was like, okay, fine, you got me. You don't know? Well, I mean, you guys have played this game, so I guess you would know. But I guess I'll try this shit. Hey, hey! How do you ex what? don't don't get upset at me for not knowing that doing it several more times wouldn't accomplish anything? Okay. It, this is exactly the game where doing something like five times in a row, despite it not seeming yeah, like it would do anything, would actually either. do something. I don't think it's that unreasonable what I just did. To to office, what the fuck? Hand. Don't go left. What was I supposed to do? That doesn't matter. It's okay. Yeah. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Guess I have to, don't I? That's it, isn't it? Nope. Stepping inside his manager's office, this game's a novelty, but to discover I'm surprised I haven't died yet. Human life. I know that you're Shocked, supposed to wandered in get endings faster than this, this, I think. Until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? Hmm. There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up. But now, he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. Night Shark 115. Can I not talk? <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. He spoke it into the receiver. How do I right there on the wall. Can I type? I'm sorry, is there a problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? Please uh, speak the code into the help. receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. No, the game doesn't know if I shout because my audio isn't plugged into the game. Okay, okay. fine. You're not going to do it. But you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring What the this fuck? Only for you to suddenly decide you no. have other things to do. I asked you for this one single thing for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see the game does not have my audio. It doesn't. Here. What you the fuck? Choice, you know. you my mic is not plugged the into the right. game. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you? Ah! Away? Speak. Say something to me. Explain That's what I thought. Yourself, you coward. What the fuck? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? Stanley, please. I... I need you to make a choice. I got I desperate. Through the door. Are you listening to me? Can you hear me? Is everything alright? This is an ending? Stanley, this is important. 
story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. This is the best ending in your opinion, Choose cool man? Anything. Okay. Anything. This is more important than you can ever know. I need this. The story needs it. None of the other endings have credits? You hear me? Well, then maybe this is the real ending, then. If this is the only one that had... Yeah. Okay, fuck. I just got the real ending on my first try. If none of the other endings have credits, then this is it. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. That's all right. If the other ones have credits, then... I mean... What's the right thing to do? Take as much time as you need. Well, let's see. Well, no, I mean, I, I understand that there is no real ending, but... All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? If only one of them has Stan credits, then I'll accept the it as the Perhaps real ending. Mr. Memo. I want to jump out a window. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. What? I've been clicking on the windows. Those are windows. These are windows. I was clicking on them. Didn't happen. On the desk of 434, click the window. 434 is over this way, right? How do I get on the desk Stanley of 434? Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in I mean, any this way. one? This one? How do I get on the desk? I don't see how I'm supposed to do that when it won't let me. Climb on it. So I don't, yeah, I don't see how I'm getting on a desk here. 434? This is it! 434. Look at me. Click, 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 space, space, move, tab. Nothing. 434. Ho, ho, ho. Getting on the desk. The chair? Oh, God. I just needed to press it more properly. Oh, let me back up. Come on. Oh. I was up. What are you doing? Oh, God. What am I doing now? Window. Fuck. Oh, what is this? Why can't I get back up? Why is this so difficult? Can I get over here? Moving forward. You're tell telling me I can get out the window. Don't understand how I'm gonna get over this desk because I can't jump. Uh, nope. Didn't happen. Don't know what I'm doing here. Thank you, tour guide something. Thank you so much. Oh, maybe I'll have enough subs for like more emotes pretty soon. I was very close to it at some point. Crouch. Do I have a crouch option? I don't see. <gasps> oh, what the fuck? Okay. I can just 
block out. Bye! <gasps> At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty <laughs> commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a game? minute just oh, to cool. drink it all in? Yeah, it felt very saucy. Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Ah, then in that case, we'll continue. Bah. But now, here comes the real question. What do you think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this to stop? Do you think it would have been particularly different? Would I have taken the same idea but rephrased it superficially to fit the answer? This voice does sound Perhaps like you Kurt never Sagan. Would even have thought of it if I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. Oh, sounds a lot like it. Would it be them. worth it for you to restart and then come back here just to do the other option? Clearly, this whole gag takes some time. Is that why you guys were mentioning the other them earlier? Longer. How long will you spend in total just to have heard all the narration? Oh, and this is rich. Perhaps you've just played the other option, and now you've come to see what happens in this one. So, what do you think? Which choice was the better one? Imagine if you selected continue on your first playthrough, how tantalizing it would be not knowing what happens when you pick the other option. Indeed, what? you are one of the lucky ones. Though, if the other option is really miserable to listen to, then perhaps you're not. In fact, I'm just going to say that no one who's listening to this is lucky. Well, now, I've built up the other option so much that I'm hey, going to stop Kildest. talking and leave you to your decision what about whether fish? to come back you got here, fish? continue with the give game, me some fish? or just sit in this spot forever and ever. Cheers. Oh god. Really? Oh, goodbye, coyote butt. How do I... Am I stuck? Forever? Oh! Wait long enough and I get music? There's no way it would let me be stuck here forever. Something would happen if I... Ah! My voice. Jesus. Something would happen if, uh, if I stayed here. There's a restart button in the escape menu. I don't think it's going to leave me... Well... <sighs> no, I can see your comments, Mike Carpenter. I'm not... My chat is not subscriber-only mode. I do not see the point in doing that unless I get way too many people that I can't read the chat anymore. Oh, excuse me. Um... Yeah, you, you have to sh shout jump... Very clever. I'll just wait here for another fucking two days. Okay? That's right. I'm on to you, game. Um. Hello? Nothing. Do I seriously get music? I don't... This is a glitch? I don't understand. I try... I, I pressed all of this already now. I feel like I'd be missing out on an achievement or an ending if I left. You know? If you press yes, you get music. Press. Nope. 
then I have to restart it to do it. I've been using the mouse button. I've been clicking. I've been clicking. Uh, see, that's... No, yeah, I did play episode four. I played that as soon as the stream started. Um... Uh, so I have to, okay, I guess I have to fucking restart. I don't care enough about it. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley Try it worked, again. He couldn't find a trace of his Fuck. co-workers. Oh my god. Why is this so fucking difficult? I can't... Oh. Hello? There we go. Whee! Alright, now I'll click yes. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So now I wanted to well I wanted to think, click yes a now. Unique place to be. Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm I can, over it now. Yeah, now I'm gonna what do you think. Are you sick of this gag yet? First no and then yes. No, I gotta press I don't know how to say this politely, but you could literally just hit escape and restart the game any old time you want. Like right now. You could have done it just then. Now would also be an appropriate time to quit. Any of these points and so many, many more, all of them are appropriate. I'm enjoying what seems to be an internal conflict going on where you are literally unable to act on your own desires to restart the game. So um, just to push the envelope, I'm going to try and make this as miserable as possible and see how long you can maintain. Well, here's the music. There once was a man named Stanley who people considered so manly. But the truth must be told he was not very old and was quite I, uh... particularly gangly. What Stanley liked most was buttons. He pushed them like some kind of glutton. This game just tests your fucking patience, you know. In a meaningful way. But his brain had long ceased to function. Which is why he is in this parable. And Cinemason's guy? What? Quite terrible. And if you are not strong... And keep playing along. I like Spec Ops the line. Too will become quite unbearable. Yeah. I just wanna Oh, good night, Tiger. Will become quite unbearable. Well uh... Let me leave this world. I'm fed up with this world. Have I speed ran gone home? Like apparently I can just do the game in two minutes or something. I haven't played gone home, so. I don't have to wait. Well, I know, I know what they... See, that's the fucking problem with this game, is like... I know what he's saying, but the game is also telling me that if I don't listen to what he's saying, then other things happen. So, yeah, I think I will... Well, what the fuck? Why wouldn't it? Oh, God. See, that's... I'm willing to go the extra mile if it means that I could get something, but I don't 
believe that it would get me anywhere at this point, Stanley so... Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I don't know. You guys are saying I'm bad at this game. But it's like... Huh. Say I'm bad at the game, but... I mean... Is that such a thing for this game? Can you be bad at the game? You're just li you're literally just Yet exhausting every every uh, either. option you have. Wave of That's what the game is. Stanley decided to go up to his it's like, oh, I haven't office, done. Oh! Hoping he might find an answer there. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. No. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Fuck off. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. See, how is this part not testing your patience? See, I'm getting somewhere by being in the broom closet, okay? Look at this shit. I'm getting dialogue. Closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. Are you are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why? Yeah. yeah. Please fuck offer you. me some explanation here. I'm I'm genuinely confused. I'm just gonna hang out. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said standing Pe people getting impatient because the they've closet, seen it before, I'm sure okay. Had a reason yeah. for exploring it to find out. That's what I thought. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. I just got like a whiff of of uh maybe something you, this is somehow its own branching like path. lemons. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend you'll say, "Oh, did you get the broom closet ending?" The broom closet ending was my favorite. That broom. I hope your friends find this concerning. Well, is this an ending? Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That all with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. No. We got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and we're just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system <laughs> and collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby, the TG Phoenix, is that is an obvious he troll. I'm not that stupid. Countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, making sure they understand basic first person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video <laughs> gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game this game's a lot of dialogue them. all right when you've done that just step out into the hallway no see what happens i get an ending here right I'm not only gullible, but I mean, I, I'm pretty. I'm a pretty skeptical person, but sometimes I just get fooled. But I mean, either way, this is the this is the type of game where you would expect that kind of thing, you know. This isn't an ending. Ah. Second player. It's good. You too? Unbelievable. 
I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Fuck you. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. The fish? Fungus? Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. The best ending is to turn it off and play a different game. Yeah, I mean... There's a novelty to this, right? It's a novelty. But it's like... The gimmick is there and then you just... You experience the same gimmick over and over and over again. So is there no ending? this game trolling me by Im implying that there would be an ending. I already played Life is Strange Episode 4. I played it as soon as I started my stream. Well, getting out of here. I really don't give a shit. I think at any point where it's going to ask me to test my patience. To a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Oh, so there would have been an option to go up, uh, down if I wasn't on that part where it was forcing me to take the correct options or whatever. Okay. I guess the game assumes that you do it properly first. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. This is, uh, Shocked, unraveled, different. Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the oh, terrible fuck. What was it? that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing... What was that shark one on from keypad, before? I wonder what would happen if I pressed the... the it was like 1-1 one, one something? Sheer luck. I wonder what would happen. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Yeah, I'll play another game. Just give me a second. Just explore for a bit more and then do something else, obviously. Down. What the? Where the fuck am I? It's too dark. Okay, no, that didn't happen. That's where I just came from, right? Okay, yeah, I guess I'm going down. You guys voted for this shit, remember that. You voted for it. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. I know, I mean... Yeah... Stanley walked straight I stand by what I said. Door that read it's a novelty. Facility. <sighs> and then, I mean, like, there's so many different Although this passageway had the word choices that... On it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Well, I don't, I'm not going to listen to you. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his. The only thing that, the thing that I like the least about this game. Oh Jesus! Is that my death? The thing that I like the least about this game is that if you want to really do everything... Oh, fuck! If you really want to do everything, you have to go through a lot of shit again that you've already seen, and there's, you can't skip it. As the machine whirred into motion, and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. 
Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story. Trapped Help. forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Help. Perhaps his death was of no great loss. Like Help. plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow Crouch. life. Crouch. Well, Stanley. Yes. I forgot I could do that. Farewell, Doesn't matter. Stanley, cried the narrator. Okay. As Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. I do still have PT. Hey. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game as back in his office, as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Where am I going? How big is this room? Okay, never mind. I'm walking this way. When well, no, I mean, it's... Walk, I appreciate its you novelty. I just... Death becomes meaning. It wears off. It's not a bad same. game. It's you like I like that it exists. Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Just doesn't When everything is random, when everything is like nonsensical and things happen that you don't expect, but literally everything that happens is something that you're not supposed to expect, then you kind of just Learn to expect the unexpected, and nothing is really all that surprising anymore, you know? I know, it, like, it's good, it's just not a lot of fun to me. It's something that I won't uh, be playing very long. I feel like, I feel like... I'm very, uh... Oh, Jesus, three doors here? I'm very um, confused as to uh, exactly what I would get out of this game. Well, what the? I'm very confused as to what more I would get out of this game by uh, playing it than just watching all of the endings. You know, that's that's something that I'm confused about it's like I'm I'm only playing it just so I can see the different different possibilities you know but I'm not not really uh, playing it to play it if you know what I mean <laughs> huh battlefield fighting aliens that's funny HD remix. We're trying to find every little narration, every clever little expectation the gamers, the makers of this game had of you. What? Oh, what the fuck? Oh no, what's up? Oh, okay, good. Department timer. Timer would give you 15 seconds to pick up, would lead to a different ending. So it's like telling me everything there is about the game right now, right? Like, is this the ending that I'm on? Is like. Maintenance. Oh, wait. A vent? What? 
What? Lounge, staircase. Entrance would be hitting depending on how you entered. What? Two doorways to entrance, one doorway to maintenance in the lounge. So it's telling me how to get to maintenance right now. Which, I don't know if it's that important. First two doors was important to get right, since players will replay them so many times. We discussed... Huh. Alright. I'll try the vent at some point, maybe. It's mostly cut content behind the scenes. Zending. Am I uh, in a spot where I'm forced to restart, or do I get an actual ending? What the? I can exit here. Countdown desk. Hello? What just happened? Oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. Depression quest is winning the straw poll? Well, another. good thing I never put that How game on the straw poll. Do it. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to what? Me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Then push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time choose. Ah, I crouched. <sighs> Hello? Uh... Yeah, the game did tell me to... quit the game. Yep. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, I didn't. I wasn't aware that the thing crushed the actual barrels too. That it would. I thought it was like above where I was. Oh, quitting it. Get out of here. All right. 